Good morning, guys. Welcome to another edition of the Semicast. It hasn't even been 12 hours since I got on here and dropped some good news with the return of Primar Wilson Bell, Brady Stevenson, Nate Andrews. Well, guess what? It's back to what's been happening uh, this entire early season so far. More bad injury luck for the Knolls. I can't fucking believe this, man. I woke up the, early this morning. Well, it's early for me. 7 a.m. Yeah, do, do my normal bleacher report notifications, check on those. And what do I see? Oh, David Visser from Tomahawk Nation reports Josh Sweat did not make the flight to Louisville. Apparently, he suffered a knee injury in practice, and it's been confirmed that it's the same knee that he hurt in high school. And by hurt, I mean totally destroyed his senior year in high school. So, we don't know the extent of the knee injury, but he didn't make the fucking flight. So I think there's really two options here. One, the good option. It's not a big deal, but they wanted to treat it, check it out. It's better to do that in Tallahassee than throw him on a plane, because you damn well can't treat someone's knee on a plane. Or two, his knee is totally fucked, and so they need to treat it in Tallahassee. And get the recovery process started as quickly as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably the latter. As in like he's not, he's for sure out. Fuck the likely, he's out. The way Nolan's injury luck has gone. I mean, good God. You know, just when I was feeling a little better about this game. I already thought the Nolan's would win. But once I heard all those people were coming back yesterday, I, I was feeling more confident. But now you're down. And this is like the worst timing against a mobile quarterback. You're down Josh Sweat and Derwin James. Oh, you know, just two five-star defenders. Two of your probably top three defenders on defense. One at the back end that could spy him really well and James. And then Sweat at the front who's athletic enough to set the edges and even rush him from time to time. Oh, yeah, you're just down those two guys. I know FSU recruits at a very high level. But damn, man, these injuries are really starting to fucking add up, and it's annoying as shit. And at this rate, guys, I, I maybe it's early and my brain's not working, and I'm just, like, fucking pissed. Not pissed. Annoyed. But um, I, the way shit's going, the playoffs aren't happening. Not when you keep losing guys of this caliber. They're not going to happen if injury luck doesn't improve. This is ridiculous. I mean, you had the starting left guard miss the first two games. You had your starting right guard miss last game. Then James for five to seven weeks. Now Sweat for who knows how long. I mean, who's fucking next? Oh, uh, another injury. Derek Kelly, who would probably be first in line if an offensive lineman went down. He's out. Granted, I didn't like him at left guard. But he'd probably be one of the first guys in line if one of the starting five, which is finally playing together, by the way. If one of those starting five went down, Kelly would, might be first in line uh, to replace one of them. He's out this game. Who am I forgetting? You know? God damn. I was expecting to wake up, you know, be in a good mood knowing, you know, I got my shit to do today. By the time I'm over, the day's going to be done. And then before I know it, I'm going to be going to sleep again and waking up to the Louisville game. Now, well, I'm probably going to go back to sleep after this because fuck this. It's 7 a.m. Jeez. At least go back to sleep for an hour. Hopefully, when I wake up, or sometime later today, there'll be an update on sweat. And hopefully it won't be something like, He's out for the season. But the way it's gone so far, fuck. I'm going to go ahead and guess it's going to be something fucking awful. We'll see. Guys, I don't, at this point, I don't know about the Louisville game. I'm really, it's really getting more difficult after this injury for me to say, I think we can still win. It's not getting easier. I said that after Derwin, I actually believed it because of, because of the depth in the secondary. But now you lose your starting defensive end, a very good one at that. 
it's hard for me to say I think we can still own confidence now. I think if I was making a new score prediction, it would not be a double-digit victory, I'll tell you that. It would be a very close victory. Jesus. Man. And some people have said uh, maybe the Seminoles are still paying for their 2013 injury luck. It's like, fuck that, man. It's been three years now. Like, can they say at least some kind of healthy? Last year, the offensive line was obliterated most of the year. And it wasn't that great to begin with, but. And then I can't remember 2014's injury luck, but. I don't, I don't remember it being that incredible, so. Excuse me. Damn, man. This is getting really old. Like, you know, you finally you get news of the Derwin James injury. You kind of, you know, you accept that it's happened. You know, you make your brain think, okay, it's what it is. Let's move on. And then once you, you're, you finally have, you know, gotten over that and realize, hey, it is what it is. He's not playing. It sucks. And then boom, this comes. Like, two days before the game. Two fucking days before the game. And I believe Thursday's practices are no contact. So, we all know how no contact injuries can turn out. I'm wondering how long it's going to take to get an update. They just arrived in Louisville, apparently. I'm really wondering how long it's going to take for them to get word out. It better be soon. I don't want to fucking wait just before the game to find out. Like, get the word out, Florida State. Stop fucking around. Like, honestly, I wish college football policed their injury reports like the NFL does. Because the NFL, there's a little wiggle room. But in college, coaches can pretty much do whatever the fuck they want when it comes to injury reports. Like, they can do gamesmanship, like, to the nth degree. It's ridiculous. It's like, fuck that shit. I get it with the gamesmanship, but if someone's completely fucked, just say it. You know? Like with the Derwin thing. You saw on Showtime, the night of the game, Jimbo was in the MRI uh, room. He saw what the fuck happened. He knew exactly the the details of the injury. And yet he him and hawed until finally he kind of gave in and said he has a cartilage tear. Don't know how long he's gonna be out. Blah blah blah. But before that he was like very vague. It's like motherfucker, you know. Alright? He's out for the foreseeable future. Alright, so it's not like you're hiding something from Louisville. Just fucking, you were in the fucking room. Say, hey, he has a torn MRI. Just fucking, you know, like, he didn't come right out and say it. He acted as though, like, he was aloof and didn't have a fucking clue at first. You know? I think it took all the way to the Monday press conference where he finally said, and he said torn cartilage. It's like, why don't you just say MRI, or uh, just say MCL? That's what I meant. If I said MRI earlier, I meant MCL. Just say MCL. I'm like playing this fucking game. You know? It's like, Jesus. <sighs> Anyways. I'm out. I'm going back to sleep. So I'm guessing when I wake up, Dalvin Cook will have tripped over his ego and, and blew out an ACL. Or Francois will have farted too hard on the plane and fucking blew his O-ring out or something. I don't know. Who's next, honestly? All I know is if, if Josh's uh, injury is, <laughs> is long-term, this team is definitely losing in the next handful of games.
you cannot take those type of injury hits and then play Louisville, North Carolina, South Florida to a lesser extent. South Florida's actually okay. They're, they shouldn't beat Florida State, but they're actually okay. Uh, who else is in that stretch? Miami. And then finally, you get Wake Forest in a bye before Clemson. But these handful of games coming up, I mean, with you know, if you don't have both of those guys for all those games, I'm sorry. I don't. I know FSC has recruited well, but I a loss is much easier to see now if if sweats out for an extended period of time. And I know I've said before, injuries aren't excuses. Recruit better depth. FSU has. Um. But uh, at some point, there is a threshold. So when I say injuries aren't excuses, I think you can say that until you get to some kind of point. And if sweats out for an extended period of time, that might be the point. That's getting close. I know other teams, that, like I think not too long ago, the Gators had like a ton of players go down. And at some point, it's like, yeah, you don't want to say injuries are an excuse. But when you have like six starters out, you know, so it's going to get to a point where, yeah, the Noles might lose because of injuries. I, I don't know if they're there yet, but <laughs> the way their injury luck's gone so far, Jesus Christ. Like, God. Anyway, that's all. First time visitor to this channel. You probably think I hate life right now. <laughs> I know I'm sounding like a big pessimist, but goddamn, seeing that on my phone just was annoying to see that notification. Like, fucking kidding me. Anyway, if you're first time visiting this channel, please feel free to subscribe. This has been another Florida State Simicast. Here's to no injuries. I'm out. Just like many FSU players. Goodbye.